Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we will go through the 2019 April SAT exam, section four, question 21. Now this question is actually pretty interesting because you have a very nice diagram showing you a car, showing you a tire. And then if you look at the right hand side, look at the choices, just look at C. That's kind of funny, right? So let's take a look at this question and see what it means. So it says in the figure above, X is a mark on the side of a tire of a car at rest. Okay, so you can see the X right here. It's at the top of the tire at the moment. The car, starting from rest, will experience an acceleration for some period of time. So the tire is gonna move faster and faster. So imagine that in your head. Which of the following graphs would rep could represent the distance between the mark X and the ground after the car starts to accelerate and the tire makes its first few revolution. So the first thing is uh, the car is going to rotate like uh, the tire is going to rotate like this. And uh, initially it's going to be uh, pretty slow, but it's going to pick up the speed and like this. So now if you think about, okay, the, we are trying to use a graph to describe the height and time keeps on going. So the first graph that we can read out is C. C is nonsense because time doesn't go back. That's weird, okay? So if you look at the graph, it means that time is going to go back and then, uh, and then uh, it's going to have a different distance, which, by the way, it's not a function, which is also very weird. So C cannot be the answer. So now we are left with choice A, B, and D. Now, what is another graph that we can read out very easily? Well, if you can see that this is going to be some distance, okay, some distance, okay, and right here, this is where the distance is uh, uh, it's either zero or close to zero, then there's one graph that we can read out right away, which is choice B, because choice B starts at zero and the X is marked way above the ground. It's at the top of the tire. So it cannot start at zero. So that's why B is out. So now we are left with A and D. So we look at these two uh, choices. You're like, hmm, how do I know which one is the answer? Well, the key word right here is the word acceleration. Okay, it's going to accelerate, meaning that the rotation of the tire will get faster and faster. So it's going to go, it's going to go up and down in a shorter period of time. So if you look at D, well, D looks kind of regular. So that could be true, but in a far, far stretch that if the car is traveling at a constant speed, but even if it's traveling at a constant speed, it won't be like this kind of zigzag line. So D is not true because the car is accelerating. We should see that the distance uh, going up and down, it's going to happen in a shorter and shorter amount of time. And this is how it shows you acceleration. And this is how A is the answer. So what we go over here is that we want to use some simple strategies to pick out our graph. And you need to pay attention to the details such as the wording, such as the marking of the tire which is above the ground, way above the ground. So it must start from some non-zero value. Uh, it should start at the highest point, not the lowest point. And knowing that uh, acceleration means the tire is going to rotate faster and faster. The traveling of the X is going to be faster and faster in a shorter amount of time. So A is the correct answer. Do you want some extra credit? If you do, subscribe our channel. I promise you, you will learn a lot more and get extra credit from that. If you have any question, please make sure that you email us at goodacademics at gmail.com. If you have any question in math, science, or education, just send them in and we will do our very best to resolve your problems. And I thank you very much for watching this video and uh, I hope that you will continue to learn a lot more through our channel. See you soon.